Today's video is all about the buzz cut. Everything you've ever wanted to know from a female perspective. You know you want to do it. Hi, I'm Larius. Welcome. I'm going to divide this video into four different parts. The reasons to get a buzz cut, the cons, how to, and maintenance. And I'll put timestamps below in case you want to jump around. Let's get started. Reasons to get a buzz cut. Number one, you will be cooler, literally. In the summer, you will not feel that sweat, heat on your neck. You will only feel a cool breeze running through your head. It feels really good. Now the flip side of this is if you live in a cold climate and you keep your buzz cut during the winter, your head's gonna get cold. So if you don't like wearing hats, that could be problematic. But it really is lovely in the summer to feel a cool breeze on your head. Number two, you will never have to worry about bed head, helmet head, hat head. All those things will be a thing of the past. Number three, you can actually donate your hair to a really good cause. There's quite a few organizations out there that will take donated hair and they make wigs for kids going through cancer. Now your hair does have to be around eight to 14 inches long, but it's something to consider. And I'll put a link below for those organizations. Number four, if your hair has been damaged from too much color or styling, this is your chance to start over. All that damaged hair will be gone and you will start fresh with fresh hair. Number five, you will save time. No more styling, no more blow drying. So you'll gain some time in your day. Number six, you will save money. No more expensive haircuts, no more expensive products. Number seven, you can experiment with as many hair colors as you like without damaging your hair. You can go platinum blonde, blue, pink, green. Cool thing is, you keep it for two weeks, you shave it off. So you truly can experience every hair color under the rainbow, no damage. Number eight, you will feel empowered, you will feel unburdened, and you will feel like a badass. Now I can't guarantee this, but there's something about losing your hair that you could have maybe hid behind or found confidence in, and when that's gone, you suddenly find new confidence in yourself. Like I say, I can't promise it'll happen, but I hope it does. Number nine, YOLO, baby. I mean, you only live once. If it's on your bucket list, just do it. I wanna talk about one more thing that doesn't get talked about a lot in buzz cut videos. And it's the fact that you might find yourself in a circumstance where you're losing your hair for a medical reason. I had that happen. I had cancer in my salivary gland and part of my treatment was radiation. And because the radiation happened here on my head, I lost a lot of hair, like half my head of hair. So needless to say, it was very uneven. And the doctors are like, oh yeah, just get a wig. I didn't want a wig. So you know what? I just went and shaved it off. Eventually my hair grew back and I realized, oh, I really miss that bus cut. So I bust it off again. So if you are going through any type of illness or medical condition that causes hair loss, consider the buzz cut. It can take something negative and really make something positive out of it. All right, I don't have many of them, but here are a few cons. There is maintenance. If you wanna keep it up, you do have to cut it often. For myself, my hair grows pretty fast and I buzz it every seven to 10 days. Here's something else to think about. If your hair is curly or has a, even a little bit of wave, it's going to grow in a little bit differently than if it's straight. So if you've got curly hair or wavy hair, it's going to grow a lot flatter to your scalp and you can go a bit longer. You'll probably be able to go about two weeks, maybe longer. For myself, my hair is super straight and it goes straight up. So for me, it's like a every seven to 10 day kind of thing. The next thing, Growing it out is a pain and it is slow. On average, hair grows a half inch per month. Of course, that's gonna vary for everybody. So you're looking at probably six months or so before you're gonna have enough hair to actually 
style into a cool pixie. But here's the great thing. Along the way, you can experience all these different haircuts. You can have a pixie, you can have a bob, you can have a longer shag. So yes, growing it out can be a pain, but it can actually be fun. So to me, that's a con that actually can be a pro. I'm not sure if the next thing is necessarily a con or just something I wanna comment on. Yes, people will probably judge you. They're going to make assumptions about your life, about your sexuality, about your politics, who knows? And you know, you just have to let those things go because all those things say a lot about the other person making those assumptions and judgments and they say nothing about you. So let that go. Something else I wanna to touch on, now I personally have not experienced this, but I've heard of it happening. I've heard of people's relationships being affected because they shave their head or their jobs being affected. And I think all of that is terribly, terribly sad. No one should determine your worth or your beauty because of your hair or lack thereof, period. And you know, I'd like to look at this as a pro as opposed to a con because you know what? It's weeding the bad people out of your life because if someone is determining your worth or your beauty because of your hair, they don't deserve to be in your life. And I'll leave it at that. Moving on, how to actually get a buzz cut. I highly, highly recommend going to the barber for your first time. Leave it to the pros. Spend that 20 or $30 and let the pros do it right the first time. But here's the thing, you're gonna walk into the barber and say, hey, I want a buzz cut. And they're gonna be like, what number? And you're gonna be like, what are you talking about? The number they're asking you about refers to the guard. The guard is what pops on the clippers to determine the length of the hair. To get a proper buzz cut, the numbers you're looking at are number two or number three. Anything above that is really not a buzz cut. A number two buzz cut will leave you a fourth of an inch of hair. A number three will leave you with three eighths of an inch of hair. And I'll be honest, what does that even mean? What does that even look like? To get some good examples of what a number two or number three buzz cut looks like, Google it and there's some really good examples that you can check out. Something else that I did that I highly recommend is go on Instagram and start looking for buzz cuts. There's a lot of great barbers with amazing Instagram feeds and when you find a cut you like, DM that barber or that person and say, hey, I love your cut. What number did you use? What guard is that? Barbers love to talk about their trade and they would love to share with you that info. The other thing about a barber is you can take them a picture that you like from Pinterest or whatever and they're going to have a really good idea of what number guard to use. So if you say, hey, I want it like that, they'll know what to do. Another good thing about initially getting it professionally done is they're going to be able to properly cut your sides shorter. You're gonna want the sides shorter than the top. If not, it just looks, it just looks funny. You'll have to trust me on that. But of course, if you have to go to a barber all the time, that's going to cost a lot of money, which negates one of our good reasons of doing this is to save money on haircuts. So what's the solution? The solution is to do it yourself. And it's so easy. After I went to a barber a couple times and saw how it was done, it was like, oh, I'll just try it myself. I bought this $30 clipper and I put a guard on it and I leaned over the sink and I cut my hair. Took the guard off and cut it shorter on the sides and it was okay. It wasn't perfect, but you know what? I didn't care because it was gonna grow out in a week and I could fix it. And just to put this in context, my hair was cut with a number two guard on top five days ago. So it's five days of growth. And I cut the sides with no guard. I just take the guard off and go along the edge and then put another guard on and just try to do a fade. I'm not that good at it, but it works okay. What helped me the most to learn how to do it myself was to actually go to the barber and watch it happening. Lastly, let's talk about maintenance. So even though there's not much hair on your head, it still needs to be washed. My favorite thing to use is baby shampoo. My favorite brand at the moment is Aveeno. 
Of course, you could use any shampoo you like. I've even used Dove soap before. It's been great. My thinking in using baby shampoo is that babies don't have a lot of hair and they've probably got sensitive scalps. So I don't know, I thought it might be good for buzzed hair. Another thing that's not necessary, but really nice to use on your scalp, especially if it's dry, is argan oil. Put a couple drops on your hand and run it over your head. Another thing that's nice to use is a flat brush. It feels nice and it's good to naturally stimulate the oils of your scalp. And if you're looking to go the do-it-yourself route, you're gonna need some clippers. I got these for about $30 and they've been great. The key thing you're looking for in clippers is cordless. Cause if you're doing it yourself, that cord is gonna get in the way when you're going on the back of your head. So cordless is key. And I will put links to all my favorite buzz cut accessories below. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you're out in the sun, sunscreen is important because your scalp is exposed. So that is all I've got about buzz cuts today. If you've got any questions about anything buzz cut related, leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to try to answer. And what's your experience with having a buzz cut? I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. So happy buzz cut season. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and I hope you'll consider subscribing. In the meantime, stay well and I'll see you soon. Bye.